Hey everybody, it's me, Laura Harms. I am gonna start working on this week's challenge tile. Um, <laughs> I'm doing things a little bit differently this week um, because I have this lovely arm brace um, on and holding pens has been very challenging for me today and um, while I didn't want to just not do the challenge altogether, I thought maybe I could find a way to make it work. So what I'm going to do is use this identi pen today um, instead of my regular Sakura pen. Well, I mean, it's still a Sakura pen. Um, so instead of a teeny little nib like this, I'm going to be using this identi pen and I'm going to use it on the really large, like Sharpie size. I don't know what size this is. Like bullet. One, oh, here it is. 1.0 millimeters. Um, and I'm going to also be working on um, a Zentangle apprentice tile, which I don't even know how big it is. I want to say it's four and a half inches, but let's see. Yeah, four and a half by four and a half. <clears throat> um, so it's a bit bigger um, than a regular Zentangle tile, which is three and a half inches square. Um, and then I also, I have, <laughs> I have this um, stencil from artistseller.com. Not affiliated. Oh, I mean, I, I know of them. <laughs> Anyway, I have this stencil and I just had this Heidi Swap um, yellow color shine spray in mustard just sitting here so I thought I would spray it on there. Um, I did that off camera because I wanted to use my heat gun to um, speed the process up and it's really loud and it sounds terrible when I record with that. Um, so because everything is bigger, um, the challenge is to um, work bigger. Um, again, this is basically because I can barely hold a pen today. So <laughs> this shall be an exercise in um, patience. <laughs> um, oh, and before you ask, it's tendonitis um, and it's very difficult to grip things. Um, so that's what's going on with me. So I am just going to work bigger with a bigger pen, a bigger tile. I'm going to try making my tangles bigger. Um, and so that's the challenge to work a little bit bigger than you normally do. If you normally work on say a bijou tile, which is two inches square, trying, try doing it a bit bigger. If you want to, you could do something huge like an opus tile, which is 10 by 10. Um, yeah, so that's the challenge today. And I am really inspired by these like pods that look like Tripoli. Um, it's a really shiny spray. So hopefully that doesn't get too in the way. So I'm gonna start with just using Tripoli. And this is gonna be tricky because I'm gonna have to move my whole hand instead of just my wrist. And so turning the tile helps too. It's been a very challenging day for me because I've been wearing this brace and my actually been wearing my having my arm in a sling um, for most of the day because everything I've read on the internet is like tendonitis, rest, rest, you use, use a sling, use a brace. Um, so you know doing things like holding a pen or holding a paintbrush or a fork. All the things that I love I haven't really been able to do today. And um, yeah, this this pen is also a little bit wider, which makes it a little bit easier for me to hang on to it.
This is painful. <laughs> I'm working through it because I love you all so very much. I also chose this tangle because it's one of my go-to's um, and because it can be as intricate as you want it to be, uh, depending on how you fill in the triangle shapes. Um, so it gives me the option to leave it quite uh, sparse. It's interesting when you work bigger, you have to like think of the space in a different way. I have recently almost finished um, tangling my hallway going downstairs to um, the rumpus room and that was interesting having like all this space to work with. Also uh, working on a wall is really tricky because you can't just turn the wall to make the angles work better for you, you know, like you can with the tile. I have a feeling that typing up this week's challenge will be quite challenging for me. doing an aura around this blob of Tripoli shapes. Because I have this idea that I want to color this in. <sighs> Which maybe would have been a better idea if I had one of the big markers. by so I guess I'll just color it in with this Oh, why did I think this would be a good idea? <laughs>
this would be a good time to like have like a fast forward option so you don't have to watch me color all this in. Kind of like how this, I don't know if you can see it, how the spray is like coming through the marker. It looks pretty neat. That's how I intended it. I, I meant to do that. <laughs> Interesting how I'm like basically just tapping the identipen back and forth with this finger and because you know I can't really move my wrist and it's just interesting the way your body compensates for things and even though you know it's quite painful and <laughs> I'm working through the pain it's still it's still like really relaxing <laughs> to do this even though it hurts me physically um, to be tangling right now. I still am really enjoying it. I mean, I'm really taking advantage of the whole spin your tile business. Another thing that you can do if you don't have access to larger tiles or um, larger drawing utensils is to use your, you know, your regular tile or sketch pad or notebook or whatever it is that you work in and to just make your tangle, the tangle itself, make it bigger. Like this is quite big. I normally wouldn't do this triply in triangle shapes so large. I would scale them down. So um, if you're still working in your regular tiles or whatever you're working on, try making your tangles larger. If that makes sense.
This is probably the most I have ever turned my tile <laughs> while dangling. So much turning. Just looking for a pen. This one. All right. Let's see if we can get this work working here. Right. Bigify, making it bigger. I'm using, by the way, um, the Jelly Roll 1-0, the 10. It's one of the new Jelly Roll sizes. I quite like it. I like it better when my hands work, but I also like it today.
Uh, this is not my best work, but you know, the, the, the thing, the main takeaway here is that I am showing up and I am doing the work, even though it may not be my best, I'm still like super relaxed. I was just thinking about how, like, if I'm not careful, I'm going to fall asleep <laughs> except for the, you know, the throbbing, but, um, the combination of the music and the zen and you know being outside and tobogganing with the boys always takes a lot out of a person although I didn't do much tobogganing I basically sat at the top of the hill and fed the dog treats while the kids went down bigger is always so challenging because I feel like I should be I feel like I should be working smaller than I am so to me this is very challenging maybe it's not very challenging to you let me know in the comments below um, if you find drawing things bigified challenging um, yeah, I'd be interested to hear your take on things. Let's put another one here. Big if I... I got kind of small. Oops. And Zeppel here to finish it off. All right. Do not 
know where my blending stump is because I cleaned up my studio and put some things away this week and now I have no idea where anything is. So do it the old fashioned way. stump my blending stump oh my gosh I'm just sort of like randomly coloring one side of these in because there isn't really a way to do it so they all match, I don't think. Or if there is, I just can't think of it right now. It's how mushy my brain is feeling currently. Of course, some of that might be the painkillers. had a heart attack moment where I thought I wasn't actually recording because I've done that before. <laughs> you know, gotten to the end of a tile and then realized I hadn't actually pushed the record button. Those are sad times. Miss my hand. This is just um, Spectrum 8B graphite stick, it's solid graphite. Um, I use it sometimes for shading. I'm just putting in a little bit of um, shading where all my little triangles meet. I think that there's a way I can blend it with my left hand. pretty good considering it's my charcoal pencil Let's see if I can't add some highlights to this black
softening it up with my finger here. There's my chop on there. There it is. It kind of looks like a heart, I guess. I did that sort of accidentally. That's my big tile. So thanks for sticking through if you made it through all 33 and a bit minutes. Um, 34 it looks like uh thank you for watching please be sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments if um you find this challenging drawing bigger and if you have an idea for a challenge let me know in the comments as well and i'll see what i can do thanks see you next time